injured, he could have said, he could have been like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be back by this time. Doctors, I can't wait to fight this guy. Like, he went completely shut. You know what I'm saying? So once he see me, once I guess his manager, it got back to his team, like, oh, I'm me and Zepeda's about to fight. He he got a lot to say now. And, and it, he want to he wanna fight Ryan Garcia or something now. So I don't know. Mm, mm. Um, <clears throat> that's a quite of a, a, a leap when it comes to payday right there. Um, I don't know how he got that opportunity um, due to the fact that Ryan, Ryan's with Golden Boy. But then again, yeah, Eddie, Eddie and, and, and Oscar, they do a lot of good business together. That's true. Yeah, but he didn't get the opportunity. That's the opportunity he won. He won a payday. He didn't get it. Mm, mm. Um, your, your name's been buzzing, bro. I'm at 140 pounds. Everybody's <laughs> looking at you like, yeah, you that guy. Um, you know, I'm very happy that September 23rd, you get in this opportunity to fight a former champion, uh, Cepeda. Uh, Jose Cepeda, um, what do you see in this fight? Uh, what can we expect from you? Um, I think it's a it's a it's a it's a great fight. It's a um, it's a step up. It's definitely a, a big step up. You know, Cepeda is not the top guy. He's not the, the main guy, the guys, or the or, or, but he's definitely a live dog, and he's a and he's a name in the division. So I think that um, it's one of the fights where I'm gonna have to be on my A game because uh. That's that's everybody's gonna be looking in a division just because you know I'm I'm supposed to be the guy that's next up and Zepeda has a name so people are gonna uh you know he's a, he's a name that can that people are gonna believe that he could potentially uh knock me off so um I think that's is a, is a definitely a uh, a great fight for my career and this is where I show that you know if I'm ready to be with the, the top tail if I'm even ready to be a champion because it's gonna be a lot of hungry guys if I if I if I when I get the belt, there's going to be a lot of competition coming my way and guys trying to uh, grab that belt. So the Zepeda is one of the guys that will show if I'm worthy to become a champion or not. Yeah, and it definitely keeps you in that top 10 discussion as well. Um, uh, Do you see – what's your prediction on the fight? I mean – um, I think Zepeda is, is, a, is, a, is a solid fighter. I think he's solid. I think that – um. He has a uh, veteran like tact um tricks and tactics, and he's um he's cracking from what I can see. But he has power, and um but like but when you do your homework, Zapata really uh his I think his main knockout was the fight when him and um Ivan Baranchuk was knocking each other back and forth down, yeah. and then he fought um Josue, Josue, Josue but we, we we all know Josue been getting knocked no no shade to Josue, but we all know Josue been getting dropped and knocked out from like his early days in the pros from like his pro debuts to him being like five and oh so that wasn't too much of a shocking but when I do my homework on Zepeda when he came over to the US and started fighting actually fighting American fighters and having big opportunities he would he would his record and his performances kind of didn't really like highlight you know it, it didn't show he his best win is, is uh Pedraza that was his best best win but every time he stepped up in competition or he was on the mainstream he he didn't really perform besides the fight with Josue. So I think that was I think that was his best performance to date, him and Josue. But um like I said, I think with me is is a whole different level. He's finding somebody that uh if he if he's doing his homework or his team is doing his homework, he's finding a, 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 a very, very skillful fighter. So uh I just feel like um my skills my skills will will uh will take over even though I don't have the experience that's to pay that. Right, right, right. I mean, you showed a lot in your last fight too, as well. Um, what was your opponent? The, the opponent's name, the Spanish boy again, the Puerto Rican. John Bowser. Bowser, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you showed that you know you you're a lot bigger than what people <coughs> expect in there as well, and you could take a punch. You know, you're obviously outskilling people, um, and it it this is not like a, a surprise to people because of you know who you've been around with, your amateur pedigree. And, you know, the people that you've been working with, you know. Um, but nevertheless, right, um, do you think that this fight right here, um, it puts you, do you think you have to put, like, a crazy performance to, like, show guys like, you know, all the champions, you know, I'm here right now, like, especially Regis Progress, because I think that's uh, Cepeda's last fight. No, that's not his last fight. Cepeda fought somebody 17 and 3. Um, his last fight on the zone. I think he formed like on a, on, a, on a main event card too. But yeah, I think that um, definitely me putting on a performance against Zepeda is gonna show like, oh, this kid is, it, it, like he's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So uh, 
is the goal. That's definitely the goal. But every fight, every fight, I, I, I don't try to um, I don't try to take it like, oh my god, this is the biggest fight because every fight, if I lost this last, the last fight, I would have never got here. So 